Today, I'll be sharing with you how I achieved this makeup look as well as this outfit of the day. So we wanna make sure we start with a cleansed and moisturized face. Feel free to use what you would like to use, but I'm gonna list what I use in this video in the description box below. After moisturizing your face, you wanna apply a primer to help your makeup stay on as well as to help you fill in those lines. I'm also using MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer and NW40. Since I'm gonna be wearing a bold lip today, I'm going to conceal the areas that have blotches as well as around my mouth area. And right now, I'm going to fill in my brows, even though they're not done, with a pencil from NYX. And then I'm just gonna spool that out and blend it in. Typically, I would use Urban Decay's Primer Potion, but today I'm not using any primer on my eyelids. I'm starting off with uh, MAC Paint, and this is Bamboo. Here I'm using my fingers to blend in the bamboo paint and to make it look a little more even. I'm going to go over this with Sable Frost by MAC. Today I'm going for a very natural and basic look on my eyes because I'm wearing such a bold lip. Right now I'm going to take Dazzle Light by MAC and I'm going to apply this under my brow bone. In my 88 color eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go between these two dark browns to apply it in my crease to give my eyes some depth. Then I'm going to take a blending brush and just try to blend out the harsh lines in my eyes. Next, I'm going to use Texture by MAC, which is very close to my skin complexion, and I'm going to use this as my overall blending color. Here I'm using a fine tip eyeliner pen by Physician Formula. Since I'm far from a makeup guru, I still have not mastered putting on false lashes. So I'm just using mascara here and the brand that I'm using is also by Physician's Formula. I'm going to finish off this look using my Bare Minerals Matte Formula in Golden Deep as well as Raisin Blush by MAC. I really, really love the finished look that I get when I do use my Bare Minerals Matte Formula. Here, I'm just trying my hand at a little bit of contouring as well as applying it as a blush on my cheekbone. I was going to use MAC's lip liner in Night Moth, but I've heard so many times that the heroin color does not need a lip liner, so I'm going to be wearing it without. I've just moisturized my lips. I'm applying the lipstick in real time so that you can see how easily it goes on as well as look at the color payoff and how it works well with nothing else. Now that we're done with the makeup, it's time to move on to the hair. For this twist out, I used my Butter Me Up Hair and Body Butter by April Frazier. And I'm also going to take a little bit of this to massage into my hands and I'm going to use it on my hair to add a little bit of shine. Once you've seen one twist out come down, you've seen them all, but I really did love how soft my hair was using this product and it gave me great, great definition and a lot of shine. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed getting ready with me and I hope the makeup tutorial was easy because I'm, like I said, no makeup guru and I wanted to make this easy for anyone to do. 
So I had to show you guys how flowy my hair was even though I got this great, great definition. This product is definitely going to be one of my staples. Now let's get into the outfit of the day. The actual outfit was not expensive at all. I actually got the top from Forever 21 and I believe the price on that was about $24. The pants actually came from Forever 21 as well and I believe those are like 29 bucks. I'm not sure on the price but they were definitely both under 30 each. My shoes are classic oldies but goodies. I got these Gucci pumps two years ago for Christmas from my husband. On my arm I have on a lovely glam stack by Body Glam For You and I have on my Michael Kors watch. I decided to keep it very, very simple for my earrings and just wore a pair of diamond studs. Last, my necklace came from Kenneth Cole. Again, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Hey, say hey YouTube. Hey YouTube.